Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows is a free downloadable expansion for Shovel Knight, released in 2015 as one of a series of three planned expansions for the base game. The expansion takes place concurrently with Shovel Knight's story, and follows Plague Knight, one of the Order of No Quarter, and his ambition to create a potion of unlimited power. In this pursuit, he has to go up against the other members of the Order, and against Shovel Knight, to obtain the ingredients he needs. As it is with the base game, one might expect this to be but a frame for the gameplay, but in fact this plot is not only very well written and rich in its own charm, but it ties into Shovel Knight's story in very various surprising and interesting ways which I shan't go into detail on because spoilers. The storyline presents an alternative view of Plague Knight's relationships with the Order as well as with his cronies, shining a new, perhaps unexpected light on him and his character. It's equally as well written as the base game was and I might even dare to say that it's perhaps even better since it's more defined and easier to follow, giving it more of a sense of progress than the base game story. When compared with the base game, the gameplay in Plague of Shadows is drastically different. In place of Shovel Knight's shovel, Plague Knight uses bombs to dispatch his enemies, and in stark contrast to the limited upgrades of the shovel, the bombs have a whole plethora of upgrades and options to unlock and pick from, allowing one to mix and match with different settings to find one that feels right very early on in the game. In place of the relics, Plague Knight has his own set of arcana, which fulfil a very similar function, but have different effects. In addition to these, Plague Knight has the ability to perform a bomb blast, which lets him propel himself higher. This is something which you will be doing very often since since Plague Knight cannot otherwise jump very high. Plague Knight's health also works slightly differently. Throughout the levels you can find health tonics which increase your max health, but the effect is lost when you die. Unlike the base game, permanent upgrades for your health can't be manually unlocked. Instead, your health is automatically increased at specific points in the game. In general, being not only very different from the base game, but also quite atypical for its genre in its own right, Plague Knight's playstyle can take a while to get used to, and even then it can at times feel quite fiddly, to the point that it drastically increases the game's difficulty, in some areas more than others. One particular gripe I had was that it's very difficult to hit enemies that are directly below you, and the bomb blast mechanic, whilst pretty innovative, makes such things as climbing a small ledge need needlessly complex when you factor in Plague Knight's diminutive jump height. Another problem is that Plague Knight is about as durable as a piece of paper, being knocked back about halfway across the stage if he happens to be hit. The game's difficulty is mitigated somewhat in the Wii U and 3DS versions, which allow you to swap between bomb upgrades and arcana using the touchscreen, something which I found myself taking advantage of very, very often. For better or for worse though, it's an interesting shake-up of Shovel Knight's formula above and beyond a simple character sprite swap, and above all, it's still very much fun. You play through much the same levels and fight the same bosses as in the base game, though there are various additions and changes made to accommodate Plague Knight's alternative playstyle, including new areas accessible only by Plague Knight. Also added are cipher coins hidden around the levels, which can be used to unlock new upgrades to purchase. One touch that I found very, very clever is that in some areas you can find the same relics later used by Shovel Knight and trade them to the very same merchants that Shovel Knight later finds in exchange for your arcana. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a stroke of genius. The expansion complements Shovel Knight's already fantastic soundtrack with 14 new Plague Knight flavoured tracks, and as it was in Shovel Knight, given the artist Jake Kaufman's repertoire, it's no surprise that they all fit their respective scenes well and are great songs outside of that too. In summary, Plague of Shadows is a good expansion to the masterpiece that was Shovel Knight. It builds on the base game greatly with novel gameplay, an as ever fantastically written plot and characters, and some really inventive ties to the base game's story, adding up to make an expansion that, in spite of its elevated level of difficulty, is most certainly worth your time. As stated before, Plague of Shadows is free with the base game, it is automatically unlocked when the game is completed once. Alternatively, you can unlock it at any time with a special code on the title screen. For Yacht Club to have put so much content into a free update is honestly mind-blowing. Any other company would have charged at least a fiver for this much content. The Plague of Shadows soundtrack is, like the base game's soundtrack, available to download from Bandcamp. There should be a link on screen should you wish to do so. Wait, wait, stop the presses! There is big Shovel Knight news incoming! Click the link on screen to find out more.